Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're gonna to be talking about some romances that I love that have fake dating in them. I really enjoy this trope. I know that a lot of y'all do as well. I'm also gonna be talking about romances that have like fake dating and fake like engagement and marriage ones. I didn't wanna all put that in the title, but they're all essentially under the fake dating sphere. So the first one that I would love to mention is That Kind of Guy by Talia Hibbert. This is an age gap romance between uh, Ray and Zach. And so Ray is a writer and her, her husband, her ex-husband, is also a writer and she has been invited to go to this writing award ceremony of sorts um, and she knows that her husband is going to be there with his new wife so she realizes that she needs a date a fake date to this place to like kind of like one up her husband so in comes Zach who's in like her friend group this is book three in the uh, Ravenswood series um, so you've you've known these people are in this friend group so Zach is one of the people in this friend group and he's like I'll be your fake date for sure I'll definitely try and be there and make him jealous, you know? But before they go to like the the award thing or whatever, um, they really get to know each other, become very close friends, and it kind of like grows into something more. Uh, Rain here also has my chronic illness, POTS, um, and so I love that representation. So this is a friends to lovers romance of sorts with fake dating in it, and I just love this one. Ugh, Tally Hibbert can do no wrong in my eyes, so I love recommending this book. We of course have The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This one though is a like faded black romance book. So if you're not into that, skip this book. But I really enjoyed it for what it was. I sometimes will like a faded black romance. Most of the time it's not really my vibe, but this one was fun. Um, we have Olive and, is it Ethan? Yes, Ethan. <laughs> Olive and Ethan, they are the maid of honor and best man at their sibling's wedding. So Ethan's brother is getting married to Olive's sister. Um, and at the wedding, everyone, Besides all of them, Ethan get food poisoning from the shrimp buffet. Neither of them eat shrimp, so they're not sick. But um, all this sister is like, hey, how about you go on our honeymoon because the ticket is non-refundable. So here you go. You can go on a, on, a, on a vacation on me. And so she decides to go, but she has to go with Ethan, who she hates. Um, you figure out why in the book, but this is definitely enemies to lovers romance. And they have to pretend to basically be each other's siblings and be together. Um, or else like the hotel that they're staying at, the resort that they're staying at could like kick them out if they're not the actual person who booked the hotel, the resort. Um, so they have to pretend to be together the entire time and they may or may not run into people they know in this resort and they have to like pretend to be together. But that's hard when they hate each other at the same time. So this one is entertaining. If you love a good vacation-y romance, definitely pick this one up. An underrated one is Muffin Top by Avery Flynn. This is about Lucy and Frankie. So Lucy is best friends with Frankie's sister, I'm pretty sure. Um, they banter and bicker um, like you do with your best friend's brother sometimes. Anyway, Lucy kind of like lets it slip that like I think they're having a school reunion, like a high school reunion, I believe. And um, she doesn't want to go because uh, she doesn't have a boyfriend and people would just make fun of her the whole time. And Frankie's like, I'll go with you. I'll, I'll, I'll be your boyfriend for, for this reunion. I think it's a reunion? Don't count me on that. I think it's either a wedding or a reunion. It's been a while since I've read this book. And Frankie is this giant buff firefighter man. And then Lucy is this beautiful plus size woman. And so yeah, they have to fake date at this reunion together and it's a lot of fun it's really funny they have to stay at her dad's house and they and the dog there is hilarious so um yeah i thought this one was really entertaining a staple in the fake dating world sphere subgenre is fixer up by tessa bailey this one is about georgie and travis this is also brother's best friend so travis is georgie's brother's best friend travis is going through some things with his baseball career he's not able to play either anymore or for the time being um, and so he's kind of like wallowing. He goes back to his hometown where Georgie's family is and is kind of like wallowing. And Georgie comes to him with a proposition. She really wants her family to start taking her seriously. She has a like party planning business, but she is kind of like the clown in the party business. Like she plays like the clown at birthday parties and she loves her job. She loves entertaining kids. Her family doesn't really take her seriously all that often. Um, and so she really wants her family to take her seriously. And she thinks that a boyfriend would do just that. Travis has his own reasons as to agreeing to be her fake date, her fake boyfriend. But yeah, they end up fake dating and then it definitely turns into something more. It gets hot and heavy, steamy, 
dirty <laughs> between the two and um it was highly entertaining if you haven't read this one yet please do next i have plus one by alethea romig this is a workplace romance as well our heroine in here um she is kind of attracted to either i think it's her i don't think it's her boss is it her boss or some guy she works with in the office but then she walks in on him kind of like doing things with another lady co-worker in the women's bathroom and she's like oh no um okay and so she tells him she kind of like blackmails him <laughs> she's like okay i won't tell hr about this situation because that's definitely a violation if you agree to be my fake date for this wedding and pretend to be my boyfriend um because i think her family or her mother is like hounding her about not dating somebody and so she just wants her mother to be quiet and um has him be her fake date to this wedding fake boyfriend this guy has been high key crushing on her for a long time but never thought i think it is her boss because i think he never wanted to like make her feel uncomfortable um so he never asked her out and so yeah this is like just a fun fake dating romance that, take pla that takes place at a wedding that i really enjoyed next is 30 day boyfriend by whitney g this is another uh like boss employee workplace romance thing <laughs> this is a fake fiance romance too so our heroine in here i believe she's the assistant to um, a boss a high hi boss he works on wall street he has her pretend to be his fiance for a month and in exchange he'll give her a very generous severance package they just have to like pretend to be together for like the press and whatnot for whatever reason he has a reason for doing this um and in exchange he'll give her the money she wants however they start actually developing feelings for each other throughout this process so things get kind of messy <laughs> a historical one that i'd love to mention is under the highlander spell by donna fletcher so our Terry sinclair one of the sinclair brothers is trying to find his brother his brother is missing and he finds out this one woman can help him but when he finally finds the woman she is being tied to a stake to be burned at a stake because people are claiming that she's a witch but she's not a witch she's just a very talented healer people don't believe that she's not using magic so our tear kind of like swoops in right at the moment they're about to set the pyre on fire um and whisks her away and um saves her but the only way to like keep her safe from other people and other villagers and for them to travel together is to pretend to be her husband and so since they have to pretend to be married on this trek back to his home um they end up having to be in compromising positions together forced proximity maybe stay in an inn together because they're husband and wife this one was just really entertaining love this series and this book i also loved my darling duke by stacy breed uh kitty danvers in here is trying to make a better life for her sisters and so the only way she can think to do that um, is to put out this rumor that she's engaged to, um, I believe this Duke, um, who is a recluse who hasn't been seen in society in years. She's, so she's like, okay, what harm is it? He's never out in society. He'll never like hear about me making up this rumor. And so her sisters get like more suitors because she is supposedly engaged to this Duke. But then the Duke gets wind of this and he's like, who is this woman making up these rumors? I gotta go see who this woman is. He comes across her at this ball. He goes to this ball, finds her and Kelly confronts her and she's like mortified. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just wanted a better life for my sisters. I totally understand if you like hate me and want to like seek retribution. I totally understand. I will pay you back whatever in whatever means necessary. And he's like, you know what? I actually kind of like you. How about we continue this charade? the charade if you will um and so they fake being caged just because he feels like it <laughs> this book is just so good we have a hero also who's in a wheelchair um and they get stuck in this like cabin together for a night in a forced proximity situation at one point it is it's so good when a scott ties the knot by tessa dare is another good one i don't know if this is necessarily fake engagement i don't really know how to describe it um so our heroine in here um uh, madeline she has really bad social anxiety and she does not want to go into society into balls and talk to people and get a husband she's like that sounds horrible so she makes up this scenario to her family where she's like you know what um i don't need to go to balls and parties and find a husband because i already found my husband i'm already engaged to a guy at war there's no guy at war <laughs> she made up this guy and he's writing letters to him to like keep up the charade that she's engaged to this guy until one day he actually shows up on her doorstep name like the captain logan mckenzie this name she made up like a guy with that name comes up on her doorstep years later 
holding all of her letters and it's like i got your letters so let's get married <laughs> she's like i don't know who you are but those were fake i don't know what you mean um and so logan is trying really hard to get her to actually wed him when all of her family members are like oh my gosh this is the guy you've been talking about nice to meet you and so when they're around their family they have to pretend to be together or else she, they would know that she was lying the whole time <laughs> so she pretends to be with him with her family near but when they're alone she's like trying to convince him to like call things off um because she just wants a quiet life like studying her marine biology and um he's becoming like obsessed with her. And the last one that I want to mention is another Tessa Dare. This is, do you want to start a scandal? Our heroine Charlotte here, um, she is, I believe at a house party for a couple weeks. And um, she ends up getting in a compromising position with this guy named Piers. He's actually a spy for the Royal Crowns. So you have a spy romance, which is cool. And they get in like a compromising position. Like they basically hear in the hall, people like getting it on in this room but it's somebody else, it's not Charlotte and Piers. And so they think that they were together. And so he compromised her and they have to get married now, they're engaged. Um, and so Charlotte's making it her goal while they're like fake being engaged to find the actual couple who was getting it on in that room to prove that they didn't do nothing. I don't know if that sounded a little complicated or didn't make sense, but anyway, they had to fake date while trying to find the couple who was actually in the room getting it on. Um, this was funny, I love their banter. This was a great historical. There you have it. Those are 10 recommendations for you that have the fake dating slash engagement trope in them. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any blue related emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.